Do you want to know how to fit your workout in your busy schedule? Hi, I'm Nordine Zori. In this short video, I will show you how you can actually fit a decent workout in your busy schedule. If you can't find at least 20 minutes in your schedule to take care of yourself, then you're way too busy. And it's not even worth it to be that busy because in the long run, you'll pay for it. And, and believe me, you don't want to get there. You don't want to be to get to a point where you're unhealthy, too unhealthy, in fact, um, to get that busy. So, my answer to people that use that excuse of time has always been the same. Find time in your schedule. Find time. But not only that, you must plan it. Plan your workout. You must Visualize it. That's a big one. And I'll get into it. And finally, just do it. Plan it. How does one plan for anything? Well, first of all, we must know how much time do we need for a certain task. Just like at work. In this case, you don't need more than 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes to exercise, frankly. You can get a, an awesome workout within 20 and 30 minutes. So know how much time and when you can actually plug it in your schedule. Let me explain. If you're having a long day at work, and you plan to work out at 5 or 6 p.m., 7 or 8 p.m., whatever the case may be, your willpower muscle will be too weak to do that. In fact, you just postpone it or put it aside altogether. What I am saying here is that you must do it when your will muscle, willpower muscle is full strength in the morning, before work. If you cannot, then find a way to plug it in during like lunch or after work, but go straight to the gym. Do not go home. Because, see, if you go home, most likely you won't do it. I guarantee you that if you go, unless you have the gym, your gym at home, and even then, as I mentioned uh, before, if you're too tired, your will power muscle will be too weak and you won't do it. So, either before, plan it for before going to work, in the middle of your work schedule, or whenever you can find, carve some time, 20 to 30 minutes, you must be. Uh, you should be near a gym if that's what uh, you're going to be doing. If you're carving time during the, your work schedule, then uh, you must have um, a gym at work or nearby. So, before work, in the middle of your schedule, schedule or work schedule, or after work. Like I said, after work, go to the gym straight. Make sure that you have your workout clothes <clears throat> in your car, <clears throat> and you're ready. So that's planning it. The second one is a huge one. The power of visualization. See it, feel it, do it. See it in the screen of your mind. Feel how it feels to do your workout. You don't have to visualize the whole workout, but you can See yourself getting to the gym, getting on the machine or using the free weights, 
etc., etc. Just visualize you can if you want to going through all the exercises you're going to do, and you don't have to actually do them entirely. Just visualize. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Visualize yourself getting there, entering the gym, and actually working out. And feel that you most likely are going to do it. You most likely are going to do it. See it, feel it, do it. See it, feel it, do it. That is number two. Visualize it. And finally, number three, just do it. Like I said, outstart, outsmart your ego, outsmart your mind. When ego says, oh, you know, I don't have time, or I'm tired, I can't do it right now, just bypass that crap. Say next, and remember to go back to that visualization, that big price, seeing yourself actually working out. Just do it. Again, plan it, visualize it, just do it. And when you start doing that more often, and repeat that day in, day out, it'll become a part of you. And you won't even have to think about it. Hence, whenever you feel like you can't do it, you automatically will start thinking about, oh my God, it feels so much better after. You know, I always say um, that no one really enjoys working out, even me, after you know, becoming a, a, a professional athlete, uh, I had a 12 year um, professional athlete career, uh, and I, most of the time, I dreaded working out, to tell you the truth. But the feeling afterwards, the feeling afterwards is so rewarding that you want to feel that again. You want to feel that again. So whenever you're tired and your mind is saying, oh, I can't do it, you start, you know, thinking, going back and thinking about the feeling that you actually feel after the workout. And sometimes even during, um, I can guarantee you that uh, nothing will stop. I hope that this video is helpful. Please like and subscribe. Also, visit my website at nordeanswarrior.com. Thank you for watching. See you next video.